Kelborn. Until you prove yourself in their eyes, the battle circle is closed to you. So the Jedi Order isn't completely dead. You always had hidden strengths. Very hard for even the wisest Mandalore to judge and predict. I have studied much of the Jedi since our defeat. I would be honored to cross blades with you in the battle circle. So the Jedi Order isn't completely dead. I have studied much of the Jedi. I could only do that if I observed you fight an enemy in real combat. I have seen your matches so far, and I do not doubt your worthiness to face me. But the rules cannot be changed. The other champion, Kelborn, is in the jungle on a mission. Perhaps your paths will cross, and you'll have your opportunity there. Any progress with the repairs or... That's the best thing I've heard in weeks. I'll be sure to tell Mandalore about your help. Look, I have some extra parts and computer spikes. Take them. You can probably make better use of them than I can. Any progress with the repairs or the phase pulse converter? over your victories in the battle circle. So why are you back? You finally arrived, Jedi. I seek to reclaim the honor that you stole from me. I challenge you here, outside of the battle circle. This time, we fight to the death. I was too young to fight in the Mandalorian Wars. With our plans scattered, there was no opportunity to prove myself. Years ago, young Mandalorians would fly point in a basilisk, laying waste to anything before them, at the forefront of battle. But this has been denied me. What little honor I have earned, you stripped from me in the battle circle. This I won't allow. You would deny my request? I want to fight here, in front of other Mandalorians, to prove my worth. Do not shame me further. There were no wars to fight, no great enemies to destroy. I wish this was a different age, where our armadas were a force to be feared. A Zakek? Those are the deadliest beasts in this part of the jungle. Patrols are right to be cautious about them. I'll do what I must to prove myself to the other Mandalorians, but fighting a Zakek would be a short-lived honor. What? Yes, uh, I suppose that is possible. We would both gain recognition from that battle. Your plan is acceptable to me. Together we will destroy the Zakek. I will meet you there. Soon you shall know pain.
a moment. That beast there. Do you see it? The force flows even through these simple creatures. If you enter your mind, you may be able to feel its thoughts. They aren't fully formed. Basic instincts, primal urges, every breath dominated by the needs of the moment. Good. Beasts can be easier to affect than other sentients, but you must bridge the gap between what distinguishes us and them. You feel its thoughts, yes? Like a low rumble before the storm. Use the force to create a barrier around it, carefully and slowly. close and you have the potential with practice you can make any animal passive and pliable but the cage around their perceptions is a fragile thing many things can break its hold violence especially with the force anything is possible but that is the end of the lesson for now Zargo is not wrong in thinking me dead. We assume that any Mandalorian who does not report back within a day has been taken by the jungle. I still live. I am just in a difficult situation. A patrol was sent to look for weapon caches in this region. They found three sites that looked promising. Zarga told me to prove myself by taking explosives to those sites and uncovering the caches, if they exist. This was the first site. After easily dispatching some Maras, I removed my pack and began to plant my charges along this ridge. When I finished setting the charges, I looked down to see Canucks swarming all over my pack. The pests were eating everything. I killed the Canucks, but then a herd of Bomas arrived. I had no more ammo. The extra energy cells I had brought had been in my pack, so I've been up here, weaponless, for two days. Blaster rifles don't use much energy, and their energy cells last a long time. How often have you had to change ammo? You must have cleared a path to the beast coming here. If you take care of the Boma beasts, I can make it to safety. Your actions are worthy of a Mandalorian. Return here when you have slain the beast and I will be able to return to camp.
Fallen. The Thack Egg is just up ahead. Together we have a chance of defeating it. We go into the clearing and attack it. Either it dies or we do. Then we fight. A weakness is revealed. How is it? This shaman.
shall make this one see. Fallen. How may I serve?
To battle. For <laughs> out here. It's dangerous for your kind. I am a Mandalorian scout. I don't go on patrols. Mandalore sent me out here personally to track a ship that landed in the area. Yeah, from what little we could pick up on sensors, it was bigger than your ship. Most likely a freighter or a dropship. This one was trying to slip in quietly, and it was keeping its eye on emissions to a minimum. Our sensors almost didn't pick it up. Just this corpse here. Looks like a scout, and pretty green, too. The fool walked right into a group of Canucks and got torn apart. He can't have been the only one crawling around here. If there's more, we need to take them out. You up for some action? We can't let them find the camp, if that's what they're looking for. We need to track them down and make sure their trip here is real short. There's more of these scouts in the jungle. There's many paths, and I don't want them to slip by. If we split up, we should be able to find their scouts, if you're up for it. I'm going to take up a position to the east. You go west. I'll make sure none of them get past me. What happened to Lon? He got swarmed by those little beasts. I think they're called Canucks. I hope this mission is worth it to the Colonel. If not, wait, did you hear that? That's her! Get her! Set the staging camp up here. This jungle just never ends. Lieutenant, two of our scout patrols haven't reported back. Do more? Nothing is worth this. More beasts! Everyone, attack! I hate you.
I found more of their scouts, but they started shooting as soon as they saw me. I heard blaster rifle fire coming from deeper in the jungle. You find anything? Surprised they wouldn't talk to you. I thought their grudge was only with Mandalorians. Find out anything useful from them? Colonel, huh? Could be Colonel Tobin. Tobin is General Vaklu's personal cat hound. If he's on your trail, you might want to steer clear of Onderon. Hmm. I'm not surprised. He was probably acting on orders from Vaklu. If so, you've made some dangerous enemies. General Vaklu is the cousin of Queen Talia. He's also in charge of the Onderon military. He led the Onderon resistance when we occupied their world during the Mandalorian War. He was a worthy foe. Maybe more than a match for you. Mandalore needs to know about the scouts. I'll let him know your role in dealing with them. They're Onderon military, although they were trying to be secret about it. I've got a feeling you're going to need all the help you can get. One last thing about the battle circle. Your actions have proven you worthy of facing our best in the circle. Perhaps we can face each other there. See you at camp. Focus. Kelborn says you are worthy enough to face champion. Armandalar! You have enough honor to face a champion ah! of a previous day. Kelborn, oh! what are your terms? Swords only. No items ah! or the Jedi's force. And no sword of the Jedi's choosing. Just a simple long blade. Kelborn ah! chooses to fight with the ah! blade. Saber and force.
between Jedi and Kelborn is over. The Jedi is the clear and honorable victor. If you fight in the circle again this day, you will face the bravest and strongest of us, Braylor. Here to watch him. We eagerly look forward to this fight. Braylor, you are our champion. How would you fight the Jedi? No terms today, Sergeant. I would fight the Jedi with all of her arsenal. Braylor will fight you as you are. Still, no killing and no leaving the battle circle. But you may use whatever else you want. between Jedi and Braylor is over. The Jedi is the clear and honorable victor. We will not forget your deeds. defeated Braylor in the battle circle. Either you're very lucky, or you're a lot tougher than you look. Kelborn said you dispatched some covert military scouts in the jungle with him. He spoke highly of your work. Zuka told me you helped out with some repairs around the base. I was hoping you'd prove yourself more with a lightsaber, but it's certainly a great help. The gate guard said you managed to kill a Zakik. Those are tough beasts, Jedi. You've earned some respect around here. Zarga told me that you returned one of our sheep to the herd. You have gained some small prestige by helping Kumas. How many Kanoks did you have to kill to find those parts for Zuka? That was a tremendous help. I won't forget it. You've made quite a reputation around here. You did better than I thought you could. I was planning on heading to Isis tomorrow, but I'll move up the timetable and take you now. You won't be able to get to the Ebon Hawk from the city. If you need to grab anything from your ship, I'd do it now. I know, it made quite a racket. Good work. That's to be expected. They don't really like it when someone makes loud noise in their territory. It wouldn't be much of a test if all you had to do was take a hike through the jungle, now would it? Are you ready to go to I- Kelborn told me that they were covert military and probably aligned with Colonel Tobin from ISIS. Kelborn doesn't think they'll send out any more scouts. But that doesn't mean there aren't more of them out there. Colonel Tobin is General Vaklu's right-hand man. Despite his martial skill, he handles himself as a functionary more than a warrior. Back when we were fighting Vaklu's resistance during the Mandalorian Wars, Vaklu wouldn't have any use for a poisonous Kenrath like Tobin. But Vaklu seems to have adapted well to peacetime. When you were last here, you probably didn't even go to Onderon. The Republic knew that Onderon's fate would be decided on its jungle moon, not the planet itself. To begin with, when you talk about Onderon, you're really talking about the ancient walled city of Isis. It's the only inhabited settlement on the planet. It depends on who you ask. Queen Talia rules from the royal palace, but her cousin, General Vaklu, has a great deal of power in Isis as well. They disagree about many things, just like their citizens. We fought General Vaklu during the war, and he is a worthy adversary. Queen Talia is young and hardly a match for him. Onderon is a recent addition to the Republic, joining during one of the darker eras in Republic history. Since joining, the Republic has endured many wars and great battles. 
The people of Onderon don't possess the resolve and strength needed in these times. Many of them want to break away from the Republic. They want to go back to an earlier age when they could cower behind their walls. Their spinelessness made them easy to conquer. We're not self-sufficient here. We need supplies. Isis is the only place to go for them, in the which is unfortunate. Because their animosity towards Mandalorians makes it inconvenient to go there. I don't blame you. They're a sad people. I have some things to look into. I'll talk to you later. Are you ready to go to Isis yet? I'm going to talk with Zuka and have him start a shuttle flight check. After that, we'll head out. How are the port stabilizers? They check out Mandalore. All systems are green. Good. I want the shuttle bound for Onderon within the hour. What do you want? Is all in readiness? <laughs> it is. Like I promised. Why? You want to back out now? My only concerns are for the one you escort to Onderon, Mandalorian. Would you do any less for one of your clan? Don't pretend to understand us. We Mandalorians are a breed apart. If by apart you mean scattered, broken, and lost, then yes, you are correct. Not for long. Soon the Mandalorians will be strong again, united as one clan under one banner. Mine. Ah, yes. The Great Crusade, after the first one was ended by Revan and the Jedi. Such a defeat was merciful, an echo of the end, when your ships were in flames, crushed in the grip of Malachor V. But I do not need to remind you of such things. I was at Malachor V, and I remember how many Jedi died to stop us there. And no matter how many dead or that planet, the Mandalorians still live. Clan Order still lives. See Kex there? He was serving on Nar Shaddai's muscle for the huts. Kelborn was a scout for the Duros on Frontier Worlds. I brought them here, gave them a purpose. This galaxy will be ours again. I promise you, that is the future. Indeed, the future is always in motion. It is a difficult thing to see. Perhaps there will be no new age Mandalore, no great Mandalorian crusade. Perhaps your people fought their last battle at Malachor V, and you have been dying ever since, a quiet death that will last centuries. And perhaps all that remains will be what I see before me. A man wounded by a Jedi, encased in a Mandalorian shell, hunted by the thought of being the last of the Mandalorians. You've got some guts talking to me like that. You think your age or your Jedi whelp are going to keep you safe from me? No, Mandalore, you are wrong. I hope that it is you who will keep the one I travel with safe. You are loyal, and you have served many masters, even following them into darkness. Do you wonder where she wanders now, Mandalore? Why she cast you down, left you broken at the edge of the galaxy? How do you know that? I know many things, and I can answer the question that burns within your shell, Mandalore. But there is a price. You must keep the one I travel with safe. She is important to me, more important than anything. Show the same loyalty you have shown in the past, Mandalore. If there is a Mandalorian crusade, let it be for something that will carry your people's memory into the future. So when the time comes when there are no more Mandalorians, then at least their honor will remain. The one I travel with has walked your same path, and I ask that when the end comes that you remember that kinship, even if it seems there is nothing else left. Forget the Jedi. Keep your eyes on her. Hmm. One, two, three. Mandalorians, we've got company. Stealth targets have breached our perimeter. Wait a moment. I sense there is a disturbance in the camp. Our enemy has tracked us here. I did not expect them so soon. How did they get here, I wonder? Regardless, we must eliminate them all. None of them can escape. Our whereabouts must remain a secret. Let us join the battle. Our allies will need our help.
Only ones with stealth generators, did you? Over here, there are more of them. For Mandalore. Seems trouble follows you on a regular basis. I think it's best for both of us if we head to Isis immediately. Grab your gear. My men will take care of cleaning up the mess. Vaklu's saying that the Republic ship attacked first? That's madness! Unfortunately, lie or not, it's a madness people will believe. The timing of this is atrocious. A space battle above our skies? So many of our fighters lost? Curiously, only Tobin's men were involved in that battle. That shooter! Strong word, Your Majesty. 
But there is no good time for news like this. I recommend we continue with our plan. But won't that bring even more followers to Vaklu's side? Increasing his power? For a time, perhaps. But we both know he's not the true threat. It's his unseen support from the shadows that we must drag out into the light. Then, and only then, can we strike. I fear by then it will be too late. Isis. It's been shut down tight for months now. General Vaklu is close to declaring martial law. We won't be able to travel too far in the city. Fortunately, I have a friend in this quarter of the city. He's a doctor by the name of Dagon Ghent. His office is on the other side of the market square. It might be best if you do the talking around here. The Andoronians have a mixed view of Mandalorians after we conquered their world. It's been a while since you've docked here, eh? I suppose the lockdown has hurt your profits as well. Oh, it must be hard to shuttle people when nobody's allowed to leave. The blockade has been bad for everyone. Your manifest says it's been two months since you last came here. Oh, it's become much worse since your last trip. Military checkpoints are everywhere. Nothing new. Our space forces have been in full readiness ever since the space battle in orbit. Tensions are running high. All Republic vessels must be searched. And the delays are turning pilots grey before their time. And ever since the Republic fired on our space forces, things have been even slower. Bad days. Bad days. And things are getting worse. I'd get out of the system quickly if I were your friend. Well, doesn't look like you have any trade goods, so the inspection's just a formality. Here's your Starport visa. Don't lose it. They're priceless right now. If you want to leave the planet, you need a Starport visa. They're very hard to get. Many people want to get out of here before things get worse. Certainly. Mind what I said about the Starport visa. I know one captain already who can't get back into the Starport.
Fair winds to you, Offworlder. The winds still taste of misfortune, then. I am a beast rider. We keep hoping that Ethorians or Telosians get through the Space Force's searches so that we can sell them. They have been kept in their cages for a long time. But yet at times, I feel as if something else is affecting me. Beasts can be sensitive to the currents within cities and people. When such things are disturbed, the beasts may echo it. Perhaps it is the city itself. Isis has fallen upon dark time. Calm. Calm. What? Run! The bomber is out of control! I... I don't know what to say. Not since my first Drexel have I lost control of a beast. The beasts grow more agitated by the day, as... as you've just seen. When they get that way, not even a skilled beast rider can control them. I am so sorry for insulting you with my offering. I again apologize for... Halt, Offworlder. You'll have to answer some questions before you go into the city. What is your business on Isis? I don't think your business is any concern of mine. Minds are often weakened when forced to follow familiar patterns. But sometimes those patterns work against you when backed by loyalty or duty. Use your power carefully. A debatable point, but what is done is done. Not only is your business not my concern, I can't seem to remember why I'm holding you up. You're free to go. Don't lose your starport visa, otherwise you won't be leaving for a long while. Let's hurry this up. I want him escorted out of here quickly. This is outrageous. I'm not a spy. I'm a journalist for Isis Calm. You're a Republic spy, and your propaganda will be silenced. We are taking you back to our barracks for interrogation. But, well, you can't be serious. You accuse me of propaganda? I have proof that Vaklu is withholding information on the so-called Republic. One more word of treason out of you. What are you looking at? This is none of your business. Please, ma'am, help me. Vaklu's troops won't listen. I'm just a journalist, not a spy. This spy has been using his position as a journalist to spread lies and dissent among our people. No doubt he's been up to other treasonous activity as well. But that's just crazy! I was a member of the Resistance. I fought in the Mandalorian Wars. Yes, and your disloyalty now deeply sickens me. A warrant? General Vaklu passed an edict giving the military broad authority to detain and question anyone suspected of treasonous activity. It was specifically meant for us to pick up spies like this before they could leave Isis or go underground. That is classified military information. I have the... wrong man. Yes, you heard me right. We have the wrong guy. So let him go. But watch it, both of you. 
If I hear even a hint you're up to something, I'm coming back. To rely on the Force for such trivial matters will weaken you. I don't know how to thank you. I'm getting out of Isis now. Eventually, they'll come back for me. After that, I have a feeling no one will hear from me again. Thank you. Please, Captain, help me. My children and I are desperate to get off of Onderon. Do you have an open starport visa? My husband was killed by General Vaklu's troops. We have seen many wars on Isis. The military is divided, some supporting the Queen, others supporting General Vaklu. Their arguments over seceding from the Republic become angrier and more public every day. General Vaklu has said that if the Queen doesn't rule with the consent of the people, she has no right to the throne. Things could get bloody. My husband, he was part of the Isis Council. He was a strong supporter of the Queen and the Republic. His views weren't always popular. Over time, he became convinced that Vaklu was trying to kill Queen Talia. He... he tried to kill Vaklu. To protect the Queen. The conspiracy was discovered, and he was shot during the arrest. What he did was wrong, and our life has been so difficult since then. I just want to get off this planet and start a new life. Please, help us. No one else will. You have the look of someone used to adversity. Everyone around here begs and pleads night and day for open starport visas. Very touching. I offer you 2,000 credits if you... In the Council of Lords today, Lord Dashiel recommended a special commendation for Colonel Tobin due to his brilliant command of our armada in the skies above Onderon. Without him, Lord Dashiel said, the Republic attack would surely have done more damage. Welcome to what must be the smelliest place in the universe, Offworlder. How can I assist you? That's an air defense tower. The city's filled with them. Isis is an ancient city. And for many generations, our main enemy was the Beast Riders that lived outside the city. Towers like these were built to protect us against Drexel and their Beast Riders. Stay out of trouble. Please tell me you're an off-worlder. You came from the spaceport, right? But this is good news. You have a starport visa, right? I can only sell my best weapons if you have that. These soldiers ensure that I don't forget these formalities. Watch it, Keg. The captain already has enough complaints about you. No need to be alarmed, my foreign friend. Unnecessary observation. Annoying recitation. Recitation. <laughs> There must come a time when the Queen bows to the will of the people. Back General Vaklo in his effort to make her see reason. For all that we have given, now we get nothing. Are you with me? Yes, you! It is up to each and every one of us to turn the tide. 
Leave here, Offworlder. My words are meant for the sons and daughters of Onderon. That's enough, Ponlar. If you keep this up, you're going to spend time in detention. You can't silence me forever, soldier. But I'll keep my peace. For now. These are dangerous times. People like Ponlar aren't making it any easier. I'm quite busy right now. Perhaps later we could talk. Kawana bota ayuka taigwa kankidora. Yasora ku tuka ulwanji yu. Da hupa bosa kurata go jujutu kavadumpa munsuru kupla liyawa. Mogachi norta hirembe wanachi. Kaki mogo krab. Kawana bota yunta tanga kinamatura. Kawana bota ayuka taigwa kan kavadumpa munsuru kupla liya kawana bota Fereki mangradu no koherete taracho mo sincho kawana bota on dollar no saka Kawana bota ayuka taigwa kan tariki mangra do kawana bota dawancha mori konsu unta chiwita in Kawana bot da hupa. The sky ramp is restricted to military personnel. The sky ramp leads to the battlements, and this particular ramp leads straight to the palace itself. Tinachara, Tranacha. Ganawiso, Ragichi sa, Ragichi sa, Dakosha, Nichotoro, Punta Chakorzo Waman, Jumkarataka, Chonobograwe. Go back to your ship, off-worlder. We don't need your car. This is Dagon Gent's place. He's not the best doctor you'll ever meet, but he's well-connected in this city. Doesn't look like he's here right now, though. You looking for Dagon? You're not gonna find him here. A soldier captain was murdered at the cantina real good. They got some suspects at the tower. From what I hear, Dagon Gent is one of them. He's certainly capable of it. And probably stupid enough to get caught. But we need him. Suspicion of murder or not. It's the turret tower on the other side of the market. Captain Riken is the man to talk to. If you talk to him, tell him I got his 20 credits. We saw Mogo Dosi Sheba Dente School in Mostovigita Yavach. Vram Tabanin Sochu. 
Yatuka, Uwanrika, Chotin, Wanim, Aurat, Cavadumpa, Mo Wendido, Chokerembi, Norta Cunyu. General, we have found them again. Have we, Tobin? Or is this a preface to another of your failures? Consider the whole field, Tobin. Why would a Jedi risk all of this just to come to Isis? The crew of the Ebon Hawk is elusive, General. We were warned about that, but we still underestimated them. But the fools are here, in Isis. The intel on this is certain. I'm ordering men loyal to us to take care of them now. Hmm. I think I have an idea. Hold that order. Have her watched instead. The Jedi may prove a solution to another one of our persistent problems. Back again, Offworlder? We certainly do. He and several other people were picked up in connection to a murder. Captain Sulio. She was in charge of the Starport checkpoint. A good soldier. Your friend was one of the last people that saw her alive. So far, he's just a suspect. But if he did it, the punishment is death. Dagon Ghent is the only person I know with the contacts to help us out. We need to get Dagon out of custody. Until we either eliminate him as a suspect or find the real killer. Dagon has quite a record with the authorities. The Colonel thinks that murder isn't too far a stretch for someone like him. I know Dagon personally. He's one of the worst doctors I've ever heard of. But I can't see him deliberately killing someone. He was one of the last people seen with Captain Sulio in the cantina. Ask around there. I've heard he's got a good motive for killing her. If you can somehow clear that up and prove it wasn't him, the command will cut him loose. If I say any more, I'll get in trouble. Stay out of trouble. Last thing we need is more.
Malam pro terawan jika sah sam cabar dalam guata syak. Kawana bota yulta tangga kina matura tayai. Cune mulera tongkinge bano jansa kanik munga cinor ta imbre wana cik. Ta kometa ke playia justing miki gongo beaste. Da hupa bo sakurata go kavadumpa munsuru ku playia wa munga cinor ta imbre wana cik. Dovrei con me. Kawana bota yunta tanga. Kavadumpa munsu te mopa chinsa jis. This room is reserved, off-worlder. If you ask me, she got what she deserved. She looked down on us beast riders. Good riddance. I know his face, that's about it. His office is on Bekel's turf. She's a beast rider like me and our leader. You better never be speaking ill of her, or else. There's got to be something you need, something you want. I have connections, many connections in the city. I can provide high-quality, unique weapons that you won't be able to find elsewhere. I even have a rare lightsaber crystal, something you'd never find elsewhere. I had faith you'd get hold of one. I've always been good at spotting talent. I've got big plans for it. So what do you want for it? A weapon, money, or the lightsaber crystal? Your pick. Here you go. If you aren't satisfied with it, just let me know. Are you satisfied? I thought it was you. I served in the Mandalorian Wars with you. You're a Jedi, right? I was one of the ground troops. We fought on Daggery Minor together. It was near the beginning of the war. Enough of the past. The whole galaxy isn't safe for Jedi now. That's the first good news I've had in months. I was sent by the Republic Senate to investigate certain... delicate matters. I have to get to Coruscant to deliver my report. After the Jedi Civil War, the Republic was weak, and the cost of the Jedi Order was staggering. If Onderon secedes, other worlds may follow. Trade between our worlds has brought economic prosperity, and people just take it for granted. The Senate also smooths over differences and is a great instrument for peace. Eventually, the entire galaxy could be thrown into a dark age. I really can't say, and Vaklu may very well win if I can't get to Coruscant in time. Thank you for the tip. The journey to Coruscant would be more costly and attract more attention. But there are many freighters bound for Telos. Helping me is not without its risks. I know you have Jedi training, so you can probably handle it. But I may be being watched. If, if that would compromise your mission, perhaps we should go our separate ways.
Nice to meet you, sentient. Are you interested in a friendly game of Pizzat? Foul business, that is. Like most nights, I was here. What do you want to talk about? <sighs> know him. He's probably my best friend on this planet. Honestly, he's not a very good doctor. But he is a great drinking companion. She did? Oh no, by the four moons, what a mix-up! They got it all wrong. Dagon and Sulio were good friends. It's just when they got a little too much Juma juice, they'd carry on. <laughs> they'd call each other all manner of things. It could get quite hilarious, really. But it was just friendly banter. That night, Celia was in great form. Dagon and I were laughing about some of the choicer ones later. Yellow Tooth Dung Dweller. <laughs> we bought her a couple of drinks afterwards. It may look strange on the outside, but it was just their habit. Their way of passing time during these dark nights. Listen, if the soldiers think that's a motive, they just didn't do enough digging. That bit of information will help with clearing Dagon. But the Andoran military won't let him off that easy. They're very obstinate. Maybe some of these people will know more about what happened that night. I was cleaning up stakes from a particularly rewarding Pizzat game when I heard a loud sound outside. I grabbed my blaster and went out the door. When I got out, I saw Captain Salio. She was quite dead. Blood was everywhere. I heard a noise and saw Dagon Ghent coming from his office across the courtyard. We both waited for the authorities to get there. The next day, they picked up Dagon and several other people in the area. It's crazy to think he did it. Salio was our friend. Just outside the door by the junk heap. It might be a good idea to look at the crime scene. We fought many soldiers in the Mandalorian Wars. The Andoronians were certainly brave, but they were disorganized and stupid. I wouldn't be surprised if they overlooked something. Nobody we talked with mentioned a droid. Welcome back. My deck is still warm if... Foul business, that is. That would be Bohemia's SOD2. Uh, no, SOD3. Or is it two? Whichever one it was, he keeps losing them. I remember when I arrived, it was still smoldering. Who knows? Sometimes the slum dwellers shoot his serving droids for fun. This part of the quarter is getting more and more lawless, I'm afraid. When Dagon and I were waiting for the soldiers, we had to chase off some scavengers that were stripping SOD3. No, I'm afraid there was quite a crowd growing. We were seeing if there was any way we could help Sullio. There was nothing we could do, of course. She was dead. I am 1B AD. One. 
1B AD was built and programmed by Tolos the Traitor. The Wancha Mori Chiwa, Mufala one. The Hoopa, Bosa Curata, Go Jujutu Yoki, Honta Chiwita. The Wancha Mori Chiwa, Mufala one. It's our the crossy wish you told us see a cream. The Honta Chiwi. The one. Welcome back. Foul business. That would be Bohemia's SOD too. Who knows? When Dagon and I were waiting for the soldier. No, I'm afraid. This room is reserved. Huh. If you ask me, she got what she deserved. That Bith keeps buying droids, and the scavengers keep stealing them or blowing them up. Seems he's finally given up. The waitress is awful, but she's more fun than his droids ever were. I wouldn't tell you even if I knew. I could tell you where you could find the parts, though. That western square has the perfect fence for droid parts. There is a droid vendor called... 1B8D. That droid is as dumb as a Gamorrean. He'll buy anything because he's too stupid to do anything else. 1B8D is quite handy. Quite a few of the slum dwellers make a good living salvaging droid parts for him. You might have even bought some. Master, Entity Bahima Unknown, I have many serving droid parts. The market rate for those parts would be 25 credits. Thank you for your business. Chief and the cantina can probably do something with this. Needs a manta. The wancha more chiwa. The hoopa, bossa curata, go juju to yoki. Hiata ya kawana bota yunta ta. Hello there. What is this? Oh my, she's dead. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm Kawana bota yunta tanga kinamatura. Welcome back. My deck is still warm if... Foul business, that is. If it'll help Dagon, you got it. There's no way that Dagon could have done it. I saw him coming from his office. That's the opposite direction of the marketplace. We should go talk to Captain Riken and clear all of this up. Nico, is it? And the Offworlder. What brings the two of you here? That's a bold statement. I assume you have some sort of proof. It's a long story, so bear with me, Captain. The night of the murder, I was playing Pazak. It was a prosperous night. That should do it. We still don't know who killed Sulio, but this will greatly assist our investigation. You have been ordered off this investigation, Captain. I hope you can explain yourself. I had nothing to do with this, sir. This citizen found information about Captain Sulio's murder. It's material to the investigation. We've already got our man. Sulio and this Ghent were fighting the night she was murdered. He had ample motive. Have you read the report? Some of the things Sulio called him were vile. Sulio and Dagon clearly hated each other. 
Uh, what he meant to say, Major, is that they were friends. So these two were friends? A friend would never say such things to another friend. You expect me to believe... It's absolutely true, Major. I was a friend of both of them. They've done this dozens of times. Bahima, the bartender, can confirm it, as well as half a dozen other people. They were an odd pair, but they certainly didn't hate each other. I see. Well, there's still the fact that he was right there at the scene of the crime. So what? What matters is who was there first. An eyewitness said he came from his office almost immediately. The only thing that matters to me is that he was within blaster range when Sullio was killed, and he did not have an alibi. You have a recording? And well, I'm sure you're just misinterpreting it. I've seen it myself, Major. Nico isn't the only one that spotted Dagon coming from his office. It really can't be Dagon Gen. The real killer is still loose. Very well, Captain. Set Gen free, then. But if later it turns out that he did do it, it's gonna be on your head. The men will be working on getting Dagon Gen out right away. The Major sure isn't happy. You're quite a team. Together, you got the Major to back down. That's no small feat. The investigation has been handled at the highest levels. I've heard there's been some concern about that. With Dagon free, I don't know if the investigation team will find another suspect. They haven't been as diligent as other investigators. I'm not gonna say any more. Probably said too much already. If you head over to Dagon Gent's office, some men will bring him there shortly. Thanks for clearing this whole thing up. I could tell the justice wasn't being served, but... We all have our orders. We really need to patrol that sector better. Thanks for getting me out of there. As detention cells go, it had definite class, but I prefer being out of my own all the same. I owe you and Mandalore one. Not many people can help you out with that. There have been several assassination attempts on Queen Talia. That place is a lot tighter than a hut's vault. I know a few people, though. Who do you need to get in touch with? A Jedi Master, you say? Now that is interesting. It's quite a bounty in Jedi these days. Not that I'm looking to collect, but if there's a master there, I think I know who it is. There's a slight problem with that. I know you don't want to hear that since you went through all the effort of springing me out. The thing is, scavengers have already looted most of my stuff. Most of it's garbage anyway, so I don't care too much. But I did have a couple of encrypted holodisks that they nabbed. So here's the punchline. I need those discs because they have some contact information on them. People I know you don't just walk up and chat with. There's a procedure, and that holodisc has the procedure. But Kel's gang pretty much owns this street. From what I hear, she's the one that cleaned me out. She's in the local cantina most days. She's tough as Drexel leather and more dangerous than an angry Wookiee. You take Mandalore with you, though, you should be just fine. Just get me the encrypted holodisc. After that, if there is a Jedi Master in the palace, I'll get you a meeting with him. What do you want here, Offworlder? The room is taken. You? And just how do you intend to do that? The Offworlder wants to make a donation. Kill her and take everything. Ooh, 
need to Captain, you're back. Please tell me you have an open starport visa. Thank the Four Moons for your kindness, Offworlder. I only wish I had some way to thank you. Hurry, children. We get to go on a spaceship, thanks to the Captain. We get to go into space. found the encrypted holodisks yet. Great going there. With these, I'll check my contacts at the palace. I should be able to get a meeting with your Jedi Master shortly. You got anything you need to take care of in the quarter. You best do it now. You're dealing with serious politics by contacting him. If things go bad during a meeting, you may not be welcome on Isis anymore. Perhaps never. Just let me know if you want to go through with this. Yeah, yeah, I'll get on it. Grab a cot and rest a bit. Once I get a meeting time, I'll let you know. Is this meeting a trap? I can't afford to lose you, especially given recent events. Anything could be a trap. Vaklu is no fool. But if the message is true... Is this necessary? I can guarantee your safety in the palace, but outside these walls, the General has many men that would do anything for him. Nothing in life is certain, Your Majesty. But I feel... something. There is a disruption in the Force. I must investigate this. Very well. But please, be cautious. Aren't I always? That's what I was afraid you'd say. Well, the meeting is on. Head straight to the cantina. You guys should be in there. And uh, no offense, but I hope I never see you again. You must have gone through a lot to arrange this meeting. The palace is at full battle readiness. Smuggling in a message is no small task. Kavar, the famed Jedi Guardian. The Mandalorians counted on the fact it would be you, not Revan, who would lead the Jedi against us during the Mandalorian Wars. I wonder how we'd have fared against you. I thought you were killed fighting Malak during the Jedi Civil War. It seems my former student keeps curious company. Strange times lead to strange alliances, though. No, I survived the war, if only just. Why are you here? I imagine that you hold little love for any on the Jedi Council anymore, even an old friend. You have to understand that it was a time of great uncertainty. We just learned that Darth Revan was back with an armada. Every Jedi that went with her was lost, corrupted, and as dark as their master. And then there was you. Many thought you were a spy, but there's more to it than that. And I think you deserve an expert. Am I interrupting? In orbit, I thought for sure that the Ebon Hawk was mine. I was certain, only to see you slip through my fingers during the battle. Imagine my delight to discover you were on Isis. Quite careless, if you ask me. Get them, men! And watch your aim! Civilian casualties cause a mess of paperwork. I must return to the palace. I'll get word to you when I'm able. Run! What? What have you done to my men? Blast! 
Men, take care of her. I won't let Kavar escape. For the sake of subtlety, I suggest we avoid using grenades and any other weapons that may injure civilians in this battle. Yes. What? What's happening in the West Square? It sounded like battle. Command's ordered comm blackout. Do you know what's going on? What? Why? That makes no sense. Command hasn't issued any alerts. Are you sure it wasn't some of those Beast Rider slags? You, you must be mistaken. Soldiers just don't attack civilians without orders. Just head to the safety of the Merchant Square, citizen. We'll send a patrol to investigate as soon as we can contact our HQ. Not all the military is after us. Still, Vaklu can throw a whole army at us. I think we've outworn our welcome over here. We should head over to the spaceport before General Vaklu invents some charges against us. Then we'd be in real trouble. You know what to do. The diagnostic is doing something strange. Target acquired. What the hell does that mean?
trouble seems to follow you off. Hey, wh what do you think you're doing? This terminal is restricted to military personnel only. I said this term. Your visa's been scanned. You're cleared to leave. I'd leave right away. I'm Captain Galisi, Offworlder. If you want to pass here, I'll need to see your starport visa. Everything seems in order. You're cleared to go. The shuttle is just ahead. I think we should get out of here fast. No more trips to ISIS for us until the situation changes. They, they just barred entry to the merchant quarter. I wonder if there's been another bomb. You again? You don't need... Unnecessary observation. You are eliminating many of us Jedi, but such actions only delay the inevitable. Annoying recitation. Let us proceed to facilitate communications. Recitation. And bring about the termination of hostilities. We're back. The shuttle is going to stay docked here until further notice. I'm not ready to part company yet. It sounds like you have a lot of traveling to do. So do I. I'm going with you. The Sith have taken a particular interest in you, and you could use an extra blaster. I've been meaning to leave Duxon to look for other Mandalorian clans anyway. The Sith aren't known for sharing power. If the Jedi Order is destroyed for good, it's inevitable that the Sith will dominate the Republic, and then my people will be eradicated or enslaved. Helping your cause is a matter of necessity. Mandalorians helped Exar Kun during his war. We know firsthand how we'd fare in the service of their like. But that's enough for now. We'll have time to talk later. The Ebonhawk is patched up and ready to go. When you're ready to depart, we can ask the guide here to take us back to the ship.
Most of the recruits are scouting the perimeter. I hear you handled Isis adequately. Mandalore has left me in charge until he has finished his journey to reunite the clans. If there is any change planet side, I'll send you a message. to your ship? Follow me. There was a pattern to Revan's attacks during the Jedi Civil War. She sought to convert Jedi, not kill them. But that is not all. In fact, she fought to keep the infrastructure intact killed certain political leaders that would lead to destabilization. First Patriarch Lelin Dor of Sirocco, the Karelian diplomat Mimis Yoon, and Yusunas of Achani. I am not sure that she intended to conquer. I think she was trying to do something else. I think she was trying to unify the galaxy against some other threat. I do not know. I don't know what it is, but you look different. It shows. It's kind of inspiring, to be honest. Anyway, just wanted to mention it. I think the others have noticed it too. All right. Something up. All right. Sounds good to me. Something. Yes. That crystal is bonded to you. Most interesting. Your crystal does not perfectly reflect your current self. Is there something else you... Yes. Have you come with questions? That crystal is bonded to you. Let me focus on the crystal for a moment. There. Is there something else you...
As I have studied your actions, looking for potential vulnerabilities to exploit, I have found several. Statement. You seem disposed to helping others. Statement. Oh, Master, please, of course they are. In any event, I feel compelled to point out that your self-destructive path of pacifism and sacrifice will only lead to your doom. That may be a trifle melodramatic. Statement. Master, it is nothing personal, but professional pride dictates that I keep a running tally on any potential weaknesses in my masters. And, of course, the weaknesses of any other sentient meatbags, droids, or other targets who are in service to my master. Hypothetical. Master, it is entirely possible that one day you may no longer be my master, and that my new master might get jealous of our prior relationship. It has happened before. As a result, I have a responsibility to know your weaknesses should I be required to assassinate you. Answer. Many organic meatbags find that question difficult to answer, Master. But I believe I can provide you with a satisfactory definition. Definition. Love is making a shot to the knees of a target 120 kilometers away using an Aerotech sniper rifle with a tri-light scope. Statement. This definition, I am told, is subject to interpretation. Obviously, love is a matter of odds. Not many meatbags could make such a shot. And strangely enough, not many meatbags would derive love from it. Yet for me, love is knowing your target, putting them in your targeting reticle, and together achieving a singular purpose against statistically long odds.